Hi, good evening everyone. Good evening. Um, thank you for joining us today. Um, thank you. Thank you very much. You know, um, it's such a nice, beautiful day today. So while we are waiting for people to come in to join us for this live, um, please keep on sharing. You know, appreciate if you keep on sharing, keep on liking our live talk as well. Um, today we're going to talk about a little bit in depth about Sky Million. While we're waiting for um, audiences to come in and join us, we're going to play you our first Prop Next Malaysia Chinese New Year production, Chinese New Year song and video. Enjoy. It's only a short video, but enjoy for the moment while you are sharing with your friends, okay? All right, see you in a bit. Please like the video as well. Okay, so we're just going to put it up right now. wonderful it really brings back the feeling of you know upcoming chinese new year isn't it you know the feeling of happiness the feeling of love and the feeling of family get together 
So hopefully, um, in the next few weeks, things is going to be a little bit better so that we can be with our family and have a nice gathering as well. Even though we don't have, we might not be able to, but everybody will be in our hearts, right? So just want to say hi to Ken, Patsy, you know, Amelia, Yuki that is joining us. Thank you for joining us. And then I'm sure there's a few more that is coming in as well. So for those that is coming in, please share and then please like our page as well. And you have to stay till the end of this particular talk because we have a special Ang Pao for those that who wants to actually think about and consider or even want to make a special booking for this particular project that we are going to go in depth. All right. So without further ado, okay, Florence is going to join me today uh, on this consumer talk. This is actually a follow-up talk. Hi, Flo. Yeah. So this is actually a follow-up um, talk Hi. that we have we did for our re recce um, on Sky Million project. So um, Florence was, is one of the coordinator. So you know we just we we just gonna have a discussion, and then while when we were doing the re recce um, live talk, we actually gotten few three question actually three burning questions from the audience. Right, so we got to go in depth into those three burning questions, and the three burning question that was asked to us was how to select a strategic location. Okay, the second question is tips on selecting the right units, and the third question is should you invest at this moment of pandemic? So I think everybody was just trying to figure out what things to move on and to move forward to, right, in terms of their homes and everything else. Okay, so Sky Million. Everybody was, you know, I'm sure a lot of people heard about Sky Million residences along, you know, and then, you know, um, we have spoken about it um, briefly um, two weeks ago during our We Recce series on the amenities around the location, pretty brief about the location as well. And then, you know, Sky Million residence is actually, you know, consists of 254 units. Okay, in the whole property of 2.89 acres, and at the same time also, you know, um, it's on tw there's 22 floors, so it's something new, and then it's high quality because it's from a very prominent developer that is in town as well, which they have developed Skyview Residence. So those that um, know about Skyview, you know the quality and then the um, the trustworthy and then the reputation of this particular. Um, developer so to talk about the whole sky million residences and the in-depth talk about the location the um what are the right units that we want to make you or help you to actually choose florence okay so florence as i mentioned is our team leader okay she has been working in a property line whether with a developer company or you know with Propnex, you know, the um, with agency, it's more than 10 years, right, Florence? Yeah, yeah. 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 And then also, you know, she is a um, number person, finance background. So she's actually my guru in a way that if is she's actually my walking calculator. So every time when I need something urgently, I will call Florence, can you help me on this and do my calculation on this one? And she said, no worries. I give it, in, give it to you in a jiffy. So within a blink of an eye, the numbers is going to pop up. You know, this is how fast she is in terms of calculation. But besides that, besides that, Flo, okay, so 2021, okay, it's going to be a good year for us. We are... Being positive is going to be a good year for us because you are a fire dragon, right? A fire dragon in Chinese horoscope, yes. which means you have full of fire and then you want to move forward with enthusiasm and also with mo and motivated as well, right? So fire dragon, here we come, 2021. So are we ready for the talk, Florence? Can you hear me, Florence? Hi, Florence. Are you able to hear me? 
Sorry, my line is a bit lagging. Yes. So I just introduce you as my fire dragon lady. Yeah. Thank you, Belle. Thank you for your introduction. <laughs> so, okay. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. <laughs> so, the first burning question, Flo, how to se select a strategic location? Okay. That is one of the, actually a lot of people ask whether Sky Million is a strategic location for them to actually look into. So, um, for me, I felt it is. But I'm sure a lot of people have their different point of view as well. What is your view on this? Um, my view actually is not 100% um, is from my personal view, but I add on from the readings I get. I got from the other property gurus and those uh, property specialists. So from all the readings and the experiences shared by them, I come out with a few points for uh, the audience to have consideration when they want to select uh, their house uh, from a strategic locations from point of view. Um, mm. And here I would like to um, point, point out uh, like centrality, neighborhood sure. development, and mm -hmm. also the lot location. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, as we know, in a, real, uh, in a real estate boom, the home buyers will clamor for almost any house that hits the market, right? This is great while it is last. Uh, mm -hmm. But when the party is over, the home buyers who choose the best locations will be holding the most valuable property that also depreciates at a much slower rate. Mm -hmm. The difference in the value is actually largely a result of a home location. Yeah, mm -hmm. we often uh, heard location, location, location. This is a common mantra in real estate. And it's a good advice actually, except for one thing. Most people have no idea what it really means. What, means, what it means by location, 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 right? So I'm going to share with you uh, what it means tonight. A good location can signify uh, different things to different people, actually, of course, right? But there are also the objective factors that determine a home's value, depending on our personal needs and preferences. We may not be able to buy a home with all these factors, but it's okay. After all, a home is uh, much more than just an investment, okay? For the first point, centrality, mm -hmm. yes, centrality. When we choose to live in a town or in a city, rural or urban area, when you choose to live in a city center, uh, it will definitely affect how much we pay for our home, right? The land is a finite commodity. So district like Penampang, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, which can consider as a developed district, mm -hmm. right? Can, uh, don't have, or which they don't have a a lot of um, additional growth, especially along the Jalan Pintas, tend to have higher prices than districts that have too much room to expand, right? So if uh, we are the investor today, so of course we would like to look into the few, uh, not only the today's price, but also the future price of the home that we are going to invest. Okay? Yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, which, yes. yes, which means when you say centrality, that, you know, it is mm. actually um, not far from everything, right? When you say centrality, yes, yes, it's correct. actually um, mm. wherever you turn left, right, center, you will get to somewhere, to your point. Yes, and then correct. it doesn't take you half an hour yeah. to go there. It doesn't take you a traffic jam of one hour to go there as well, right? Yes, correct. Yeah. Um, okay, we move on to the... Second point, which mm. is neighborhood. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yeah, a truly great neighborhood will have a few key factors in common. Here, I would like to highlight in four factors, which are accessibility, appearance, mm -hmm. amenities, mm -hmm. and also the safety. Yeah, in mm -hmm. terms of the accessibility, we should look for the neighborhood that is situated near a city, a city's major transit routes, and that has more than one point of entry. Yeah, mm -hmm. 
um, commuting or driving to and from work is a big part of many people's day, right? Mm -hmm. uh, as uh, for me as well, for you as well, Bell, right? I believe. Oh, absolutely. Yeah? So absolutely. a house. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Right. So a house with an easy access to the roads will be more desirable than one that is tucked away and can only be accessed by one route. Uh, do you agree with me, Bell? Oh yes, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You know. You you always want to you know if I can if I can't use road A I always want to look for road B so you know mm. th that's what Google Maps are for or the ways you know are for as well you know they they give you the shortest route for you to find and then for you to get to your point so accessibility mm. that is one of the points as well that you don't you are not stuck with just one road yes correct that is what I meant yeah. So um, from the slide that we can see, uh, mm -hmm. the accessibility uh, road of uh, from Sky Million to another point of mm -hmm. the um, the city or along Jalan Pintas or to Donggongon or to city center. Yeah, we can see the uh, along the road uh, you can reach any way from this Sky Million itself, right? If you yeah. want to go to KK to Donggongon and from Donggongon to KK, it's just like a big roundabout, right? And then you come back to Sky Million to your to your home. <laughs> yeah, very big yeah. roundabout. And also the uh, Pen Borneo Pen Borneo Highway, which is uh, mm. under uh, the some of the under the construction, right? For yeah. for our yeah for our outstation audience, uh, they might want to invest in KK or Penampang particularly. Uh, mm -hmm. They would uh, they might want to see. Yeah, they might want to see how they can go from, from for example, from Sendakan all the way to KK or from, you know, Tawau all the way to KK as well. Yeah, actually, um, we'll lead even to uh, Sarawak as well. To, hmm. yeah. Am I breaking up the line? <laughs> yeah, your, your line is just, just a little bit breaked up. Yeah, as you can see, this actually, the uh, okay. Pen Highway is about 1,000 over kilometers, actually. So it's actually connecting people more hmm. in that sense in future you know instead of you know um flying people might just want to say you know just take the highway and let's let's go down you know and then let's meet our friends down in kota kinabalu yes yes so um for the next one the appearance the appearance of the neighborhood is also important mm. yeah for instance the neighborhood and they have quality landscaping and if they have nearby parks tend to be desirable mm. from the um, development plan of this sky million here the green uh, dot uh, are all the trees the greeneries yeah yeah so this appearance is also an important factor yeah, yeah. it's okay. 2.89 so, acres um, for the amenities Yeah, for the amenities that um, the Sky Million are providing, are provided actually is um, like the pool, the playground, the uh, um, the gym, everything will be on the ground floor. So with the 2.89 acres, um, I'm sure Florence is going to agree with me that there's a lot of land space um, around around the particular con uh, residences, right? And you know, with this also, it's you actually do not need to go out so much because everything is already contained there, you know? Mm, yes, yes. Yeah. Oh, the um, a great neighborhood also should also include the um, important amenities, right? Such as the grocery stores, the shops, and the restaurants as well. Most people like to frequent places that are convenient to themselves. If we have to drive a great distance to just get anything, uh, one single thing maybe, it's likely to make our house less attractive. Okay, schools are also another important amenity. Yeah, mm -hmm. even if, if we don't have kids at the moment, but if you want to sell the home in the future, many buyers out there will be on the lookout for the good schools, right? So the mm -hmm. quality of local schools and the distance from the house are both important factors to consider. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 
So these are just some of the ideas yeah. of the um, Plaza 353. It's only um, four minutes away. All right. And then, you know, what you can get there, pick and pay, Burger Kings, you know, um, Upper Star. And also this, this is the, this is the um, convenience store. It's a little bit high end convenience store. Then, you know, you have the restaurant like Sabahan Taste Kitchen. And you would have, you know, to hang out at the end of the day, the the pubs and the uh, the bistro as well. So convenient wise, yes, it's convenient. And then we have the ITCC. Flo, don't forget the ITCC. There's a mall. There's a mall along. Yes, yes. The, yeah, there's mm, a mall there. Yeah, the mall. Um, ITCC mall, which what is do we, along. No, what do we have in ITCC? The Super hypermarket, the Pataras hypermarket, Mr. DIY. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's very easy for, for um, the residents to actually go down there to actually buy things and hang out for the weekend. Right? And then mm-hmm. not far yes, also, yes, don't forget, correct, correct. not far also, um, not along Jalan Pintas, but just a little bit off Jalan Pintas, we have uh-huh. Boulevard, the hypermarket Boulevard. Ah. Yeah. yeah, next to Bolivar is the OUM, the university, right? Yes, that's right. It's around the area, the Open University. Ah. Yeah. So, with that also, you're yes, mentioning yes. about the school. So, with the school, mm. as you can see, there are primary school and, you know, there are secondary school, which are mm. only, you know, less than 15 minutes away. Right? Like, oh, sh- that's yeah. Good. yeah, Shantao. And then Anglo Chinese School, KK High School, less than fifteen minutes away. Mm, okay, I believe uh, it's a very good uh, amenity point for mm. this um, Sky Million, right? Yeah. Okay. Let, let, so, uh, Bell, finally yeah. we yeah you were saying? we don't forget about the safety as well. Yeah, oh, about yeah. the safety. Mm. Yeah, a neighborhood, a neighborhood that that has a low crime rate. And it's an inviting and safe place to be outdoors and commune with the neighbors is the type of place where most people want to live in. Mm-hmm. Do you agree with me, Belle? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. This, so this what, is so important. Mm, so this Sky Million, they have a three-tier security. The first one will be when you reach the gut house. Yeah. When you reach the gut house. And then the next one, when you want to enter to the lobby. So before you enter, you have to use your key card, tick, like that. Then only the door will be open. Okay. And the third one will be the lift. The lift is only, uh, will be reaching your own particular floor only. So you cannot go to other people's uh, level. So it's very safe. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. For, mm. for single ladies, this will be yeah. the, the Elders. point for you to consider. Hmm. Okay, we move on to the third point of um, how to select the strategic location. So this um, will be the um, development. So it is not just the present amenities that matter, but future ones as well, right? The mm-hmm. plans for the new schools, the hospitals, and other civic infrastructure can dramatically improve the property values in the area. Yeah, the commercial developments can also improve the property values. These additions might affect might affect the desirability of the surrounding areas. So there's one uh, commercial development, uh, one of the commercial development that will be coming up soon is uh, 213 Streets, which consists of 226 units of Airbnb units. Yeah. Yeah. So this is uh, located uh, along the Jalan Pintas as well. Mm-hmm. Just a few minutes from Sky Million. Yeah. Yeah. So you can see from the slide, this is the um, 313 suites, the Airbnb mm-hmm. suites, commercial mm-hmm. development. Yeah. yeah. For the last point uh, will be the lot location. Yeah. Lot location. We also need to take into consideration where the house is actually located. Alternatively, A house with a wonderful view is likely to be more valuable, both now and when it comes to time to sell it. So from the um, slide, you can see the shape of the entire um, Sky Million development. So 
the view will uh, will be north, east, south, and west. Basically, the north view will be the city view. Yeah, the mm -hmm. north view will be the city view. The east view will be the mountain view. Yeah, the east view will be mountain view. The south will have the view of the Penampang area. And last but not least is the west side is facing the Lokawi Sea View. Yeah, but nevertheless, uh, for the level 10 and above only, you can see the Lokawi Sea View. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so um, basically the location is not entirely subjective. In fact, it is based on a fairly static set of criteria. Yeah, when we set out to shop for a new home, we must also make sure that the neighborhood is not just desirable to us, but has objective qualities such as attractive amenities, safe streets, and good schools that will help ensure our investment appreciates in value over time. And I believe this Sky Million residence has all these criteria. Yes. Do you agree with does. me, Belle? It does. It does. Yeah. First, first it is affordable, right? Second, mm -hmm. you know, you're talking about amenities. Just to recap, there's a lot of amenities around. Yes. And then school, mm -hmm. definitely. It's, there's few schools around the area, as we have shown the earlier slide, that, you know, to go to KK High School, you only take 11 minutes to go down to KK High School. So you would have mm -hmm. more valuable times with your family when you have less traveling. So that is one of yeah. the factors I'm sure people would think about as well. Right. Yes, indeed, indeed, yeah. indeed. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. okay so, go on, Belle. Go on. Yeah. So probably, probably also people want to people want to think about like you know if I do want to consider um, doing buying Sky Million, what are the units available and what are the pricing and all these things, you know, they can actually come to us and then we'll be able to tell them the availability as well. So mm. um, yes, it's actually 35% sold uh, mm. for Sky Million. Um, as a to correct date, if I'm right? wrong. Yeah, it's 35% yeah, sold. Yeah, it's correct, 35% right? sold yeah. as a to date. Yeah, mm. as you can see, the, the, the demand is there. So, you know, um, take this opportunity, take this opportunity and then come and talk to us. Come and talk mm. to us. Uh, we'll be able, we'll be glad to actually sh um, share some of the information with you. I think, Flo, mm. we need to also tell them the tips on selecting the right unit. Remember, this is the one of the ah. questions that yes, people yes. were asking. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Uh, so, please. Yeah. So, so um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, we are not the property gurus or expert, well, but what we have been um, sharing here is only from our experience, from the sharing of our potential clients or our clients, and also we do our own research and um, from the sharing of the property uh, gurus or special specialists of the property. Yeah, so uh, we just uh, humbly share what we have learned before okay so correct us if you are wrong uh we learn together and we share whatever info we have yeah so for this uh question the burning questions that we get from the wireki session previously um it's for me it's important to consider factors like the um, current and future space needs the units orientation the floor level potential ret rental returns etc when it comes to selecting the best home yeah in a dream world we probably all of us want to be living in that huge penthouse condo or apartment with the magnificent mountain views or the calming sea views but in the reality rely a bit more on our financial opportunities right so the thing is though um finding the right condo or apartment is a lot to do with vision yeah knowing what we want and how to make it happen within our budget is almost as important as securing the bank loan okay the first point i would like to share here uh, mm -hmm. before that i would like to uh, just recap um, this Sky Million uh, consists of 254 units of the residential units and um, consists of 22 levels. Uh, 
Um, there are nine types altogether. Nine types altogether. Type known as type A, A1, B, B1, B2, B3, C1, C, and D. Yeah. So for the sizes, the A is the intermediate uh, with 930 square feet. For the B and B1 will be 1278 uh, square feet. B2, B3 is 1280 square feet. C I, I and think, C1, yeah. Uh, Flo, I think we need to also mention that why there are two types, um, like type uh, A, yeah. because yes. one, is, uh, we, yeah. one is with balcony, uh, the other yeah. one is without the balcony. Yes, the A A1 is with and without balcony. So the actually the other than the A A1, the rest of the units are all corner units. Yeah, are yeah. all corner units. So the, the, the uh, C and C1 is also uh, the size will be one four one zero square feet, and the last one type D will be one eight six zero square feet. Yeah. So the type B two B three C and C1 are all dual key units. Dual key that is yeah? the unique selling point for Sky yes. Million. Yeah. It's actually a dual key, dual key mm. unit, which dual you unit. cannot get along that particular stretch of road. That um, it is yes, actually, indeed. It is actually one of the unique points of Sky Million. Yes, it is. Yeah. So um, okay, we move to the uh, the point. Um, mm -hmm. how to select the um, uh, the units, the right units. Okay, the first one, of course, um, our first main concern when it comes to property purchases should be a question of informed finances, which is the question of the price. Yeah, normally when people uh, come to us, the potential client come to us, they will ask how much. That is the first question, how much, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. so we need to understand for this question, we need to understand our own our current budget and affordability first of all so as the as agents uh, we usually have several uh, the download apps as you can see from this uh, slide this is from the easy law apps that we use to show to client um, something like a home loan calculator yeah to understand our client's price range okay the one that i show here will be the um uh, the lowest price uh, for this sky million which is four six eight seven hundred. This is the type A with nine hundred thirty square feet. Okay, everyone's priorities are different, but what unites every home buyer in Malaysia is a need to undertake detailed financial planning before moving ahead with a property purchase. Okay, one thing we should say here: it's not all about the cost today, but the capital potential tomorrow. So mm -hmm. normally, a smart buyer is thinking about how much the property is worth at the, not only at the point of sale, but as much at the point of purchase. Yeah, at the, meaning mm -hmm. that at the point of entry and at the point of exit. Okay, so mm -hmm. um, as you can see from here, the um, purchase price, and because this Sky Million is offering the HOC uh, scheme uh, with 10% uh, rebate from the developer. Yeah. With the HOC, so you can see the price, the lowest price for Type A, four six at seven hundred minus this the HOC rebate will be the gross four to one at three zero, yeah. Uh, for this Sky Million, the legal fees will be borne by the developer, and the stamp duties will be exempted under HOC scheme. Okay, the amount is roughly nineteen thousand nine hundred twenty three. So it come up to be the net price of this particular unit will be four zero one nine zero seven which you can save 66,000, okay? Yeah. So from I, the loan calculator. Mm. Yeah, I think I think we need to mm. emphasize on the savings as well. You know, um, at this point in time, um, mm. every dollar, every ringgit counts, um, you know, every saving that you can save, I think this is the right way to do it as well, which means that, you know, um, you still, you would have a little bit more in your, in your bank account for rainy days. Yes, correct. Yeah. Yeah. So um, for the installment one, um, we also use the, these uh, Easy Law apps. So if you can see from here, uh, for the for this same unit, the interest, we take the lowest interest uh, right now offering by the bank will be 2.89. So the longest tenure is 35 years. 
so we can find the installment per month will be 1600 so mm -hmm. yearly is particular uh, is about 19200 so when at the point of exit when we want to sell this particular units so take it as uh, we sell it after 5 years with the yield of 5% and 5% yield from the purchase price for six at 700 will be 492135 so there is an excess of 23000 right so you plus your saving when you purchase this unit early on 5 years before is 66000 so the total will be 90000 so from the 90000 you divide by the 5 years that you have uh, stay in that house uh, then the monthly average will be 1005 okay so take into consideration if you are not staying at the house but you are renting it out yeah when you rent it out like 1006 per month with the average paying like 15 you already gain you already gain mm -hmm. over there monthly like 100 so mm -hmm. for 5 years uh, you already gain like 60 i think like um 6 uh, nine, 6, nine, 6, yeah. yeah right so it's a good investment it's a good investment for this particular unit saying yeah. that provided is the yield is 5% if it's more then you will gain more yeah yeah, yeah. that's why I said there are there's so many factors, you know, for home buyers to actually think about. Um, it's not just I want to buy a home and then, you know, five years down the road, what do I do? You are, you will need to think about mm. the long term when you buy a home as well, because it's your mm. home, right? Yes. Um, if your family grow, then you will need to decide on other factors as well. So so this is these are the things that um, home buyer will need to actually assess during when they buy a home, then mm. whether it's going to be for long term, short term, what would I gain out of it? Um, if I sell now, what would I gain? If I rent out, what would I gain as well? So these are the questions. Yes. These are the questions that if you want to know more, just give us a call mm. and then, you know, we'll be yes. able to give you the, you know, try and help you to actually assess the whole situation. Right? Yes, correct. Yeah. 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 So um, the next one will be just like you mentioned just now will be the space needed, right? The space mm -hmm. needed when our family grow. So this one we will uh, we also have to take into consideration when we purchase a unit. Let's say when we buy our home at this moment, maybe if we just got get married, a uh, husband and wife. But we have to plan. We when we plan to stay in that place for a few years or ten years down the road, of course our family will grow. So of course uh, we might need a uh, larger space in the future a few years down the road when we have kids right so yeah. um yeah we must have that plan in mind so we know that uh which unit that we should purchase at that point of time yeah, yeah? and mm. and also i think we need to mention to the viewers as well um, mm. in terms if you are an investor the population that we have gotten the um, official statistic for Pinampang area in year 2010 is about 127,000, if I'm not mistaken. So 10 years now, I'm sure definitely the population will grow. So when the population yeah. grow, there are factors people will want to think that that is the place that people want to invest in a way that it is on demand. It's a demand area for, um, or I should say it's a demand location for people which is closer in, you know, their families are closer to that particular area. Yes, correct. So yeah. the next one we talk about um, the um, unit orientation means mm. that the view and the sunlight, right? As I mentioned earlier, there are four views like mountain view, city view, the Penampang view, and also the Lokawi sea view. And um, along uh, with this view, of course, it relates to the sunlight let's say for uh, the east view will be the mountain view where the sunrise right mm -hmm. with the sunrise and the west side will be the lokawi sea view with the um, evening or afternoon uh, sunlight yeah so maybe some of some people prefer the um, uh, morning sunrise and or evening sunset so yes. it's, if it's up to you when we want when you want to choose the unit you will prefer which uh, which uh, uh, views and uh, what which sun sunset or sunrise you you prefer? Yeah. Yeah. The orientation yes. of the whole the orientation, the yes. unit's orientation. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So yeah. I I think the other the other burning question that people are asking as well: Should you invest during this time? You know. 
should you invest during during this pandemic moment? So for for those that who wants to um, who wants to know the answer, or I should not say who wants to know the answer. I mean, our point of view, right, Flo? Whether we should or should not invest during this moment. Yes, yes. Mm. Yeah, we, we will uh, trying to help. We will try to help you to assist the whole situation uh, from your finance finance uh, point and other your view, your preference, all what whatever you require. Then we will try to um, find the best uh, units for you. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, like from from here, um, as you mm. mentioned, okay. as you mentioned also mm. for the last quarter. Uh, quarter two, quarter three, and quarter mm. four of 2020. This is you know, by courtesy of Landoc Plus. As mm. you can see, the rental during that particular period. Um, this is in comparison to the um, to the light residence, right? The the unit that is just um, yeah, next closest. to Sky Million. Yeah, mm. the closest actually. Yes. So it's mm. quite. It's almost stable. It's almost you know at a um, yieldable uh, yieldable rental. If I'm not mistaken, Flo? Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. This is what we get from the which website again? I can't really see. Land Plus. Land dot plus. Land plus. Yeah. yeah. You can find this uh, data from this land dot plus. Mm -hmm. We mm -hmm. didn't we didn't make it up ourselves, right? <laughs> yeah, we did not. You know, I'm not yeah, we good. did not. Yeah. I'm not that good in doing chart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So the yeah. next one will be the um, comparable property price. This is the comp this is what we got from Bricks, right, Bell? Yes, from Bricks as well. Yeah. Mm. Yes, this is the comparable price. Uh, so, along the um, nearby five, I think it's about five five kilometer radius from Sky Million, right? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So you have yeah. the gardens, the little mm. four seasons, the light residence, which is close by Riverside. Little Avenue, Hatamas yeah. Height, Hings Tower, and um, Jinyan. The Surian Residence. Surian, Skyview. They even put, yeah, mm. even Skyview is there as well. So there's a bit of a yes, comparison yes. also. If you want this particular mm. of comparison, just go to Bricks. Yeah, Bricks.com. Yeah. Mm. And then you'll be able to get it. Or else, come to us and then we'll be able to share this particular information with you as well. Yeah. Mm. Yes. So the last question for from the uh, the last session, Bell. What yeah. what is that again? Can you repeat? The last one is um, why why do we want to invest during this pandemic moment? Should we invest during this pandemic? Should we invest? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Should we invest during this pandemic? Yeah. So um, okay. Let's say at the moment, right? Uh, we've got all the things that we have targeted when we were just started to work, or when we were young. A stable carrier that pays as well, a decent car, a loving family of our own, and a modest property. Okay, but there might be uh, um, have also been a little urge that was taking shape inside us, one that was telling us to grow our personal growth, uh, our personal wealth by investing in properties. Yeah, after all, uh, we have heard um, plenty of property gurus uh, that getting into the real estate game is one of the tried and tested methods to successfully do so. The property gurus share the experience, they tried and tested the methods in this real estate and they are successfully uh, in it. So uh, there's an urge in ourselves that we want to try it too, right? So, but however, we are now facing some of the most uncertain times in the history of Malaysia. Yes, we are talking about the um, COVID-19 crisis and then come the MCO, CMCO, RMCO, etc. So, is it still a good time or the right moment for us to invest in properties? First of all, uh, we want to see what is the government uh, doing to aid to our Malaysian economy. Yeah. Ever since the first MCO took effect on the 18th of March last year, the government actually has sprung into action with a number of measures that would serve as catalysts for financing. First off, we saw Bank Negara Malaysia, BNM, reducing the um, statutory reserve requirement, SRR, the ratio, 
uh, from 3% to 2% effective 20th March 2020. Yeah. Uh, what is SRR? Um, if we look at the Bank Negara website, it stated SRR is an instrument to manage the liquidity or cold hard cash. Banking institutions are required to maintain balances in their statutory reserve account, SRA, equivalent to certain proportion being the SRR rate. Okay, with more domestic liquid liquidity now and a sharp decrease in the number of loan applications, the banks will now look on the lookout for the quality borrowers. Yeah, as you can see the um, uh, from the slide here. Huh? Okay, so um, uh, we have a quick look at the slide at how much financial scenery has changed over the course of just a few months last year. Okay. Bank Negara cut the OPR, overnight policy rate, four times in year 2020. Yeah. The first was on 22nd January last year, where it was reduced from 3% to 2.75%. Second one was on 3rd March, from 2.5 as a uh, reduced to 2.5 from 275. This is as a preemptive measure to secure the improving growth trajectory amid the price stability. The next one, it was cut on the 5th May to 2% again. Then finally, on the um, 7th July last year, it was reduced to the lowest ever rate at 1.75%. And Bank Negara has man maintained this rate until today. Okay. Um, the next one will be um, the uh, moratorium last year. The moratorium, the Bank Negara has announced it and have a moratorium on all the loan or financing payment obligation, both the principal and also the interest of profit for a period of six months, which has ended on the 30th September last year. And finally, as announced during the budget 2021, the em Employees Provident Fund, EPF, for the employee contribution, the rate has been reduced from 11% to 9% for the period between January to December 2021. So, Bell, uh, it does seem like um, there's a lot of extra cash in the market now, but it, it still remains to be seen. Yeah, if we should take the leap or not, right? Yeah. So, um, so now, does it seem to be a good time for investing in properties? Investors in general, yeah, investors in general would now be restructuring their portfolios to manage any risk. Meanwhile, those with leverage can take advantage of homes on the market that are priced cheaper than the normal, the normal or known as undervalued. Yeah, so uh, I would like, um, I would say, like uh, for the long term investors who can afford this, who can afford, yeah. Okay, are you or someone who is able to withstand a number of shock, a shock, right? Uh, yeah. For example, suddenly MCO. Are you uh, 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 someone that who can um, withstand, you can withstand that shock uh, or, or in the property prices dip, and but you still can hang in there until the price recover, yeah? Mm. Or perhaps you are someone who is, who is not looking to sell in the next three, five or 10 years. Yeah, if you say yes to these questions, then it is a good time for you to join this real estate game. Yeah, you see, um, not only the property developers currently adding value to um, uh, to the units, to um, what uh, to add on all the um, like HLC, they are uh, bearing the legal fees and all. And because the um, financing environment is also very favorable, like the bank is reducing the uh, borrowing rate, right? The, the, uh, the interest rate will be very, um, we are very thankful to Bank Negara for the OPR cards that we mentioned, uh, I mentioned earlier, compared mm -hmm. to the, the rates, uh, very high rates in the past. Yeah, right. And also the reintroduction of the home, home ownership campaign, HLC, until 31st, 31st of May this yes. year also makes it a right time to check out some properties out there. Yeah. Yes, so, uh, however, if you have interest in this guy million residents, 
yeah we will surely assist you in anything in all aspects that we can yeah at the end of the day you shouldn't just be looking at the initial cost involved with acquiring an asset but you should also take into consideration all the installments um, mm -hmm. when, and whether you can manage your daily expenses as well. You don't want to like um, using up all your balance income from your uh, monthly income to pay this unit end up you are not enjoying and uh, you're not having any leisure in your life, right? So we also have want to have uh, our leisure, our lifestyle. So what we life, will help you to manage life that. Balance. Yeah. Yeah, yes, life yes, yeah. it's life balance, yeah. Mm. Right. Um, okay. That's all. Uh, that's all the point that uh, I want to share. Whether we should invest in during this pandemic time or not. And finally, before uh, we go, we open up for a few questions. We have one announcement, right, Bell? Yes, absolutely. We have one announcement. Mm. Um, I think before we yes. do, we we go through the announcement just to recap of what we uh -huh. have said today. So. Mm. Individual individual people will have their individual views in terms of buying a unit, in terms of looking at mm. the um, their home as well. What our role here is to give you information so that it's easy for mm. you to actually decide. And you know, those decide, that yes. wants to consider and then um, not sure what they want to do, just mm -hmm. come and talk to us, you know, um, and then we can give you our point of view. And then from there yes. onwards, you'll be able to assess your own finances, whether you can afford or it is the right place for you as well. So um, mm -hmm. different people would have different point of view. Different people will have different tastes. You know, yes. family size is a matter um, whether you are single or double or, you know, a family of five. <laughs> triple. Would have, or triple. <laughs> yeah. Then you would need to choose different type of units as well. The surrounding yes. is important. The amenities is important. Mm -hmm. So these are all the factors, all home buyers will need to put it into consideration, right? So That's correct. Mm. before we show you what is our, um, not price, I should say, um, since Chinese New Year is just around the corner, um, mm -hmm. Propnex would actually love and want to give offer to those home buyers um, a special gift, okay? This is from Propnex KK. They want to give to the home buyers a special gift. So for those that who's going to make bookings, 72 hours booking windows, for those that will make bookings until the 2nd of February, you would get... Ta -da! Ding, 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 ding. Yes. You would get a special gift, Ampa! a special Ampa. Ampa. Yes, from Propnex. This yes. are worth um, yes. about a thousand, uh, more than thousand ringgit. Okay, thousand more than plus. thousand ringgit worth of ang pao. So come and talk to us. Um, Propnex KK is here. Propnex Sabah is here. So come and look for us, and then we'll be able to share with you what is the ang pao that is given during this booking period. If you make a booking within seventy-two hours, so yes. we would like to say thank you also to yeah, all the share only. 72 hours only so counting down place your booking now give us a call and then we'll be able to assist you if we can't we will direct you to the right person as well to be able to assist you so for for those um people unsure and want to look at the gallery there is actually a gallery and they can come and look for us as well and then we'll be able to bring you to the gallery and look at the model so that you can get the orientation of this um, Sky Million as well. Yeah? yeah. And also, we would like to thank everybody joining us today. Uh, we have spent um, about an hour or so, okay, talking to, talking to all the um, audiences. And, um, yeah. and with that, Before I want that, Belle. Before Sorry. that, Belle. Yeah. We for, you for, forget to mention our contact number. How they are going to contact us? Oh, yes. Oh, right? yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. For Florence, you'll be able to call the number at 012-798-9817. Yes. Isabel? And myself is 012-802-9500. So 
yeah, any question don't to call us yeah any question if you want to um, get a little bit more information come and look for us or else if you already have a friend um, that you get connected to they can always go to them as well so yeah, now sure. we will want to say thank you very much for those joiners thank you very much for sharing our um, thank you very live much tonight and thank you very much for Patsy, Yuki, and Amy, um, Alex. A lot. Yeah, we have a lot. That's yeah. Lily. Yeah, Cliff, Hannah. Yeah, thank you very much. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you, Grace. Yeah. And thank you. yeah, we will say good night from now from me. Good night. And from me too. Good night. Have a nice weekend. Have a nice weekend. Cheers. Cheers.